Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Project Life share for you guys. This is my month of May. And May was a small month, which I'm happy about because my album is getting full really fast. I thought one album was going to be enough for a year and it doesn't seem like that's going to be possible. Um, and I don't want to limit myself either from taking pictures and documenting things so that I can keep it all in one album. So I'm thinking it's going to be two albums. Yes, yeah. we'll see how that goes. So let's get started. This is the first page and I'll just give you an overview. Um, I'm really I'm sorry about the glare as usual. It's plastic so the lights that I have are gonna bounce off so I really am sorry about the glare. I have four lights on right now so that this video isn't too dark. Uh, okay so I really really love this page. I think it's one of my favorites and I think it's because of this yellow card. I just love it so much and I think it ties everything nicely together that's on this page. If you guys are new to my channel, I do Project Life in the 9x12 format. This is the first year I do Project Life and I do it by month. So let's get started. So the cards that I use for this spread is Ashley G and then Felicity Jane. Um, except for this one, this is from Snap Simple Stories. This card is from Ashley G and Ashley G and Felicity Jane are my two favorite designers at the moment. I love the Ashley G collection so much and it goes really nicely with the Felicity Jane collection. I've been using it together um, a lot of times in my project life. So this is a card that I got in the May kit that I got from Studio Calico and it said 2015 but I added the error on top so that you don't see that. And the love chipboard piece is from the Starshine collection from Shamel Lane. So first page, another date night and we went to have some pho. Well it's pho but I think it's pronounced pho. These little pieces here are from Chamel Lane. This is an extra photo and I did my journaling behind it and I just put it on with a paper clip. Moving on to the middle row. Over here I documented my National Scrapbook Day a hop that I was a part of. Um, Erica from Click Kits invited me to be part of the um, YouTube hop called Scrap Your Heart Out and I was really excited about that so here I am I just circled my face and put little arrows to show that's me and I did my journaling directly onto the photo there was a lot of white space and there's my friend Jenny she was part of it too um, I did a collaboration video with her on Project Life if you guys want to check it out it's the April process video I have on my channel I have it linked in this video and also in the description box below so I hope you guys can check that out. I needed a filler card and that went perfectly because this row had some amazing things happening. Um, I was part of a really great YouTube hop and I reached 10,000 subscribers. Yay! Thank you so much to everyone who subscribed to my channel. Right now I think I'm a little bit over uh, 10,500 which is crazy. I'm so grateful and at the same time really happy because that was one of my goals to finally reach 10,000 subscribers and it feels great. So thank you to each and one of you lovelies for subscribing to me. You guys are awesome. So um, this is a picture I added onto Instagram and so I really like the fun bright pops of color. So the washi tape I use have some bright colors and then I added some enamel dots of just fun and bright and I love it. And then moving on to the last row, I have this here. I have just this picture. Um, my friends came over and we used my cotton candy machine for the first time with Jolly Ranchers. And it came really sticky. I think uh, Jolly Ranchers isn't probably the best candy for this, but it turned out really good anyway. And that's just the picture I took of the machine and the candies on the table. And I just wrote homemade cotton candy. And that's it. Added some enamel dots and stamp nom 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 which is really cute everywhere <laughs> this is just a filler card um, this is a label from Heidi Swap and then the C'est la Vie is from uh, that collection I can't remember from Pink Paisley the back looks like this let me just do a little show of everything okay so also in May I started watching Penny Dreadful I don't know why it took me so long. Uh, my friend Jordana had told me about it, I think, once it first came out. And I, I saw the previews. I really wanted to watch it. I don't know why it took forever to watch it. But I'm obsessed. I love it so much. It's my kind of show. Oh my gosh. I'm getting all kinds of emotions right now. It's so freaking good. And I am a tough cookie for watching some of these scenes. Because there's a lot of possession stuff going on. And that's like... Um, no bueno for me. That's just I do not like that type of 
stuff and movies. If you guys follow me for a while, you know that my fear is the exorcist girl <laughs> and so... And I watched it late at night and I toughed it out. I, I got a little freaked out, I'm not gonna lie. I was freaked out a bit. Or a lot. Um, but I toughed it out and I watched it and it was amazing. Love it. Okay. Props for me and let's move on. This is a Simple Stories card. I just added an acetate 4x6 that says happy, happy, happy on top of that. I just really needed some filler cards because I had no more photos to document. The middle row looks like this. Another filler card. This is a Simple Stories. It's the back of the one that I use in the front page. This is a sticker from Starshine. Sorry about that. And then I added some Studio Calico Puppy Star stickers to decorate that. And also in May, um, my friend Danny and my friend Sabrina and I all got together and we created our own crafty tag with our own questions. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll have the link in this video as well. Please check it out and do it yourself. Like We would love for you guys to do our crafty tag. And if you have done it and we haven't seen it or commented, please let us know because a couple days ago I did a quick search and I found people who I didn't know made the video. So let us know in one of our comments and then we'll communicate with each other so we can watch your videos because that's the whole point, right? So thanks to everybody who's done it so far. Danny made this picture and put it on Instagram, which was perfect because I was going to document it anyway. This is a Amy Tangerine sticker from Better Together. This is Friends. And then I just wrote out Crafty Tag. And So this card has kind of like a story to it. Um, growing up, uh, I played a lot of PlayStation games. I was a gamer as a kid and I kind of just outgrew it, but I still love playing games. And um, my boyfriend has a PS3, so I decided to try and use my old PlayStation 1 games on his game console. It The quality is crap, but I felt so nostalgic playing these games. These are one of my two favorite. This is Crash Bandicoot. And then this is Darkstalker. It has like characters like Frankenstein's monster, and this is Lilith, and just different like kind of supernatural kind of creatures and like vampire ladies and stuff which I loved even as a kid so these are two of my favorite games and I just decorated it really simply but what I basically wrote in the journaling was um, playing these games kind of brought back memories that I forgot about of playing these games with my dad you know you just do something like that and then you get a flush of memories so that's kind of what happened when I was playing these games so here I kind of ruined the card. I really, really liked how the label and the October Daily photo I printed looked with the yellow and the white and the black. It's just so gorgeous. I was obsessed. Then I go do my journaling and now it looks like crap. But anyway, I needed to journal about how I started the October Daily Inspiration Group, the official October Daily Group. If you guys want to check it out, I'll have the link down below. It's a private group, so you're going to have to add it and I'll accept you guys. It's basically to help us all get together and share October Daily pages, inspiration, hauls, anything that's October Daily related will be in this Facebook group. At the moment, we, um, we do talk, we communicate, we send some photos and stuff like that. But at the moment, obviously, we are still in June, so there's going to be a lot more activity once we get closer to October and Halloween. But I'm really happy. I, I just, I'm really excited that I started that group for everybody. And this is just a filler card uh, sticker from My Mind's Eye and then some stickers from Seven Paper. And then the second page is a half page. Uh, I love using these half pages a lot. I like half pages in my album. Okay, so we had another date night. Woohoo! And um, we just went to a park. We had supper. We went to get some Dairy Queen. Mm. Okay, let me start over. We went to our sushi place, which is kind of expensive, but they make the best sauces and the best sushi. So we had a very expensive dinner date. It's called Yoko. And then uh, I wanted the stuffed, the fudge stuffed blizzard from Dairy Queen, which was so good. Took a picture of that, rolled directly onto the photo. And then this is a nice little picture of a tree I took. It was a purple tree. You kind of can't really tell. It's like really faded out the photo. But again, these weren't supposed to be so small but I printed my photos badly this time around. I added some enamel dots. This is from Starshine. This is brilliant. So that's us at the park when we had our ice cream. A little cluster of stickers up here. And then down here. Okay, so my friends and I are obsessed with escape games. If you guys Do you guys remember these games when you were little? Like, at least when I was in high school, I played. And there was, like, the red room, the white room. I think the red room was the most popular one. It's, like, a little person who's locked in a room and you have to find clues in the room to get out so basically that's what it is that's what those escape games are they're like live action 
you're locked in a room for an hour and you have to find your way out. And I love them so much. We played three and we lost this one, but the third one we played, we won finally. So I'll document that in June, in my June pages. But okay, so I don't want to make this video too long, but I have to explain this. We did this guy. Um, I forgot what the actual name of it was called, but this was the hardest one at four out of five stars. And the place we went to, it's kind of far, but they're known for being the only game in, I don't know about the world, maybe the world, or maybe just in Canada, I don't know, that use characters. So each player gets a character and each character has like special powers type of thing. So I was the time person and then there's another, I forgot what they're called, but someone else kind of like doubles up someone's power. So that person doubled up my power, so we had an extra 10 minutes at the end. But if you need a clue, you have to switch one of your powers, get rid of it to get a clue. And we needed clues, guys. This was the hardest one. It was so sad. Okay, so for literally, we only escaped the first room. Usually it's like three in one, kind of like three in rooms in one. We only escaped the first room at the end. Like we literally, we get to the other room and time is up because this was so freaking hard. So it started with the mental games and it moved on to the physical games, which was the other room and it looked really confusing. There was so many things in that we would never have won this game. It was basically like an old theater and there was all these weird handmade puppets and they were just staring at you. One of the baby's heads was like spin backwards and then like creepy clowns. It was so freaking cool. I loved it. So that's us at the end. You always take a picture and we failed, but you know, we look good anyway. <laughs> so I just added some stickers and enamel dots. And then, um, I love this side too. It's really fun. Okay. So we went out for supper for a friend's birthday. And at this place, it's like a rock burger place. They have really awesome music and it's really great. Um, the bathrooms they redid and I freaked out, guys. I was in the bathroom for like 10 minutes taking pictures of myself with the walls. Because they had Sailor Moon, Gem, they had Jessica Rabbit, they had Wonder Woman and Betty Boop, which I don't really care about. But I freaked out. I, I took so many selfies. I had to get the perfect photo with Sailor Moon. I know this is going to sound super ridiculous, but when I was young, I had blonde hair, blue eyes. My name was Serena, and I was convinced they got me, like, someone saw me and made the cartoon. I don't know. Guys, how crazy is that, right? I thought they, they copied me and made Sailor Moon. When I was young, that's how my imagination worked. <laughs> so I really, this photo really means a lot to me. This is a piece of paper that came wrapped around the um, form. I just cut it and kept it for my page. So basically, I use ephemera as embellishments. I like to do that in my project life. If you guys have seen my other videos, you would have seen me do that already. And then with the um, Studio Calico Alphas, I spelled out Moon Prison Power. This is a crown sticker, and I thought it went perfectly because she's a moon princess, so I don't really use crown icons, and I thought this was perfect. And then this is a picture of Jem and Jessica Rabbit, and I just spelled out bathroom graffiti, and some stickers. Really like that. The Jem one is awesome. I, I was so excited about this bathroom, guys. Um, and then down here, this is a photo of what I ate. It was like a caramelized onion burger thing. And actually, this place used to have a peanut butter burger. Okay, it is amazing. They had the meat and everything with peanut butter sauce. And then I think it was the bananas. Yeah, so there was bananas and peanut butter inside the burger with bacon. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I don't think they have it anymore, but it was so good. So that's what I had. I had some drinks and I had sangria and it was so good. Oh my gosh. So... Yeah, I use the one two sticker from Amy Tangerine to document, you know, our meals and stuff. Again, this photo wasn't supposed to be so small. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's a sneak peek at something to come. I'm working on my Halloween kits and I'm so excited. I can't wait to share with you guys more information about this, but I love it so much. And over here, I really had nothing else. And this is a picture I printed back in January. I really love it, it's just basically like a clown girl. I forgot the artist. Um, I follow her on Instagram. Whoops, with the skull balloons. It's really beautiful. I love it. Clown skeleton. It's just so cool. And so um, the back of this page said happy, or like the actual card said happy. And so I just put the picture there. It works, it fits, and I kept it that way. So 
that is it that is my may project life pages i hope you guys enjoyed watching and i hope this video isn't too long and that you enjoyed my stories behind some of the photos i really appreciate you guys for stopping by i hope you guys give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more project life more tutorials more everything i'm hoping to have more videos for you guys really soon so if you want to leave a comment please do so down below and if you want to say hi you can do that too and i hope you subscribe to my channel if you're new here all right guys have a great day bye